Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be sharing with you guys the math that we are using with my high schooler. We actually just finished Algebra 1 with Mr. D Math, and so I'm just gonna kind of share a bit about Mr. D Math and how it works, and then I'm gonna actually show you on the computer just how to navigate it and what it looks like when you're doing it and all the things. So if you're curious about Mr. D Math, I'm hoping that you find this video helpful. One of the great blessings of homeschooling is that we have so many curriculum choices at our fingertips. Depending on whatever subject, there is such a wide range of curriculum to choose from. So when we are thinking about our children's learning styles or our family's needs in the way of math, for example, then it can help you narrow down your choices to one that might fit your child or your family the best. So if you're looking for something that's hands off, which for me for high school, I was, uh, I'm here as a support person, but math is honestly not my strong suit. And so I knew when it came to high school math, I was going to have to choose something that provided instructional videos alongside it. So that helped me automatically narrow down my math choices. And one of those uh, choices that obviously I ended up landing on was Mr. D Math. Now, my son that I chose it for is pretty math minded. And so I wanted something that was going to be pretty strong, but not like over the top. So that helped narrow some things down for me too. So one thing that I will say is I really love how Mr. D Math really puts math into perspective as far as how it comes into play in real life scenarios. So that is one of the things that Mr. D really tries to connect when he is teaching math. And you can get a feel for that if you do the free trial that they offer on their website. And I'll put a link to that free trial. I highly recommend if you're looking at any math curriculum that offers a free trial, definitely check it out, test it out, have your kiddos sit with you and really kind of figure out if this is going to be a good fit for them. And that's what we did with several curricula choices that are out there. That's what we did and we landed on this one. So the real life application, that was huge. And making that connection to real life instead of just learning math um, and keeping it separate from how it can be intertwined within our world, like that, that's really where I had a hard time with math when I was in high school in those upper levels was really connecting it into the real world. And Mr. D does an excellent job doing that. Um, so that was a huge point for me and for my son in choosing this. So Mr. D Math offers a pretty wide range of math uh, courses. He actually has a preparing for pre-algebra course. So if you have a kiddo who's not quite in pre-algebra and they're preparing for it, then there is a course for that. So he, there is preparing for pre-algebra, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, pre-cal that is also combined with trigonometry as well as calculus and consumer math. Now, what's nice also is there's actually three options for, in, for this math curriculum. So you can do live classes, which if you have a child who is going to be playing sports with NCAA and they have certain requirements as far as curriculum goes, that is one way that you can use Mr. D Math as your curriculum is if you do the live courses. It is an accredited course with NCAA. There is also an accelerated version. So if you have a kiddo who really just like wants to plow through the different levels of math, then there is that option. Maybe they're a little advanced, um, and then that might be a good option. And then, of course, the self-paced version, which we opted for because my son could move quicker in times when he needed to, and he could slow down in times when he needed to. So he his pace was pretty average, like pretty average. He didn't really need to slow down. There was a couple of times where he did need to go back and <clears throat> kind of relearn something to do better on a quiz or a test, 
but otherwise he tracked pretty on pace with the program and then there was a couple of times at the beginning where he was beyond what was being taught and he plowed through those beginning parts but otherwise it was a pretty average pace in finishing his math this year so the other thing that i really like about mr d math in regard to um, learning the actual math concepts is at first I thought it was a downfall and maybe it is for you but once I learned the mindset behind it it wasn't really a downfall anymore because I saw how it played out but <laughs> there is no teacher's guide with this math so there was one unit in particular that my son had a little bit of issue with and he really did not want to settle for just a mediocre grade on that and so we went back he kind of went through things again and really was just stuck on this one particular concept i got a little bit frustrated at first because i didn't have access to a teacher guide but when i reached out to mr d I got an excellent reply that said that no, they actually don't offer a teacher's book or solutions for that test. However, one of the things that sets our math apart is we really try to encourage the kids to problem solve for themselves and finally figure it out. And I, I still was just like, oh my goodness. <laughs> But to help with that, there are live help sessions two times a week that your kiddo can log on and get live help um, from a tutor. And sometimes it's Mr. D himself that's on there. And so there's that option. But then also I saw how this played out, you guys. So my son went back. He really kind of combed through everything this is where he kind of slowed down a little bit for like a week was he really combed through everything and really tried to pinpoint and figure out what it was that he was missing in this problem and he did it he did it you guys and um it wasn't just that problem it was a, a few problems within that that were a similar concept and so he was able to problem solve his way in out to understanding that particular math concept and then he asked for a retake on the test and he aced it so that is something i think is really awesome that is a great skill that they are really trying to empower the students to learn and obviously if he hadn't gone through and figured that out by going back through that unit he could have gotten help through a help session and i'm sure it would have done the same thing so I actually really like that aspect. However, I don't know if it would be as effective if you did have a child who really struggled with math, that could be really frustrating. So that's something to take into account, um, but I really like that aspect for my son. Okay, so as far as how the program is structured, I mentioned he asked for a retake on the test. So each test and quiz, they have two attempts and it takes the highest score out of the two. However, if they are struggling with some concepts in a, in a chapter or unit, um, then they can actually message. There's a little message board on the side and they are able to message and ask for a retake on a quiz or test. And the couple of times my son has asked that has been granted and gone really well. So that is an option that can happen. Um, I do like how, of course, it grades everything for you. It also teaches them to self-grade themselves. As they are going through their lesson each day, you print out what is kind of the equivalent as this of the student text because there are no hard copy textbooks. Everything is printed out directly from the program online. So each lesson has a printable that you print out my son would follow along with the lesson and do the different problems as he was prompted and when he was supposed to. After they finish, then there are the solutions for the daily work. They go through, check themselves, and grade themselves, which I have seen that be a very valuable thing with him as well. So that is how learning the lessons work and the textbook and all that kind of stuff. This is 
an example of what the lessons look like when you go into them. So this is, of course, lesson one. And what you do when you first come into your course is you are going to click your coursework. And this is the look that it has. So this one is just really simple because it's just the first lesson. But normally this is gonna be usually front and back or front and part of the back with different math problems for the concepts they're gonna be learning in that lesson. And then of course there is the solutions. This is where after they do the coursework, they are encouraged to go in, check the solutions, check themselves, and then they actually enter their grade. Let's go in a little further here. We'll go to rational expressions and equations. <laughs> okay. So we have part one of the coursework. So this one obviously has a little bit more coursework to it. And then we also have part two. And it has more coursework that they are going to complete. Um, and then what they do is once they have that, then they will go to the actual video, which you can enter full screen. Then, of course, <laughs> you have the video for the lesson that your child is on. <laughs> Welcome back. As we begin this chapter on rational expressions and equipment, well, that's like saying multiply and five And he will work out all the problems times, on the screen. And we get five times five, which is 25. Then we have five to the third. So problem. as you can see, it's pretty straightforward as far as how you navigate the program and everything. Now, if you are taking a quiz, for example, let me take you really quick to a test so you can kind of get the idea of what that looks like. So I, obviously I can't retake it. My son's already finished the course and all that kind of stuff. But um, if you needed to request another time to take it, you can actually just top right in here in the comment section and post it. And then you will get a notification at the top to let you know if there has been a reply. So that actually happens pretty quickly. My son has never had an issue getting a reply quickly and so normally if he does have a question and needs to come back to it he will just do like another thing of coursework for a second and then come back it's usually within like 30 minutes uh, that he does have a reply um, just by messaging through this but like I said they do have those help sessions two days a week that are live that I highly recommend if your student needs that now um, not on this one, but on, let's do chapter 10, for example. If you have a child who is doing honors credit, you can actually do that through this program. It will give you the assignments that they need to do in order to get their honors credit. You just follow whatever that is, and then that grade can be given accordingly for honors credit, which is fantastic if that is something that you are looking for in a math program. The thing I want to point out down here is that there is a one semester or semester one and semester two exam. So like basically kind of like a midterm and a final exam. And so it calculates everything into a nice little assignment. Um, grade sheet and you can print that out if you need that for your records and things but it is all done through this program you don't have to worry about it yourself so i do want to take you to the website because there has been a new update to mr d math um we did just the regular mr d algebra one self-paced however if you go here for example let's do self-paced there are actually two options now for self-paced courses. You can do the non-gamified, which is what we did, which is just your regular course like I just showed you. And then, of course, the gamified version. Now, if you have a child that does really well with extra um, encouragement and awards and like little um, checkpoints and stuff along the way in math, then this might be a really good option. So basically in the gamified version, they're gonna earn like awards and trophies and points and all that kind of stuff to kind of level up to different levels throughout the math course. Now the course does look 
for the most part, the same as the one I just showed you. The difference is it's gonna have all these added little buttons that come up and the trophies and awards and checkpoints and all that kind of stuff. So if that is something that your child, um, that works really well for your child, then I would recommend maybe looking into that. My son, it's just not a thing that really motivates him. And so this one actually works a lot better for him. This is distracting to him. So that might be something to really think about when you're looking at these two options on what the difference is. And I believe that you should be able to do a trial of this one just to kind of get a feel of what it, that is like as well. Um, so if that's something you're looking at. Now, I did want to show you, let me go back really quick. I wanted to show you other courses that they offer. They do offer ASL courses, so sign language. They offer personal finance, economics, dance and music, ASL, technology. And then there is also some test prep. So the SAT and ACT. And then, of course, there are summer classes, which are 11 weeks long. And it is a full credit math class. Um, so that might be something that you're interested in as well. But that is our experience and kind of a walkthrough of what Mr. D math looks like. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions or anything, just make sure you put them down in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer those. Um, but we have had a really fantastic experience with my oldest son with this curriculum. I'm really glad that we did it. He is planning to do their geometry course this upcoming school year. So... I would highly recommend this one. Definitely, if you're looking at it, definitely check out the free trial. And I hope that you found this video helpful. So, have a great day, guys. And I will see you guys on future videos. Thanks so much.